soul longs and even faints for you. My heart and my flesh, they cry out for the living God, for the living God. Incline your ear with trembling and tears of yearning. To the throne of grace To seek your face I need you Oh Lord I need you I need you And nothing No place No one else will do I need you I need you For you satisfy The longing inside Good and our Father, what a delightful morning it is, Lord, to be alive and to be healthy, and Lord God, to have a relationship with you indeed. Oh God and Father, thank you. We, we, we are glad, Lord, that you have loved us this much, oh God. Thank you because of your grace and your grace and your love and your mercies that, Lord, you have showed to us. We know that, Lord, for us to be alive this day, God, it has costed you. It has be, it's been because of your grace and love, and Lord, we we are grateful this morning. We are grateful for good health. We are grateful for sane mind, Lord. We are grateful for the blessing that Father you have bestowed on us, oh Jesus. Uh, blessed be your holy name. God, as we uh, have this devotional moment this morning, Lord, may you be glorified, Lord God, as you lead us and use you guide us, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Yeah, once again, I'm delighted to be the one leading us uh, today in our devotion this morning. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a good one this week. Again, we continue to reflect uh, on the Psalm 119, and uh, today we focus on uh, verse 14 to 16. Verse uh, 14 to 16. This is what it says. English Standard Version puts it this way: "In the way of your testimony, I delight as much as in riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways." I delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Um, again, I, I continue to 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 be to be marvelled by the 
coerced and uh, the thirst that um, the right of Psalm 119 had uh, towards the love of God. Uh, verse 46, 14 he says, In the ways of your testimonies I delight as much as in all riches. I meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. And the beauty again, uh, the, the Bible, of course, the book of Joshua, when uh, there's that transition between the leadership of uh, uh, Moses and Joshua. And, and God makes a very clear uh, statement by telling Joshua not to be, to be afraid and to be courageous. But he also gives, the, gives the, him a command to meditate on the laws of the Lord, to meditate on the ways of the Lord. And again, this, this, this psalm again brings it up. And this is, this, this is the thing that this guy used to do. He meditated on the precepts of the Lord. Some version says on uh, uh, statutes, you know, or the laws of the Lord. Um, meditate on them and fix uh, 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 the eyes on his ways. Now, this was a man who just didn't just have a casual reading on God's laws and statutes and what God expected him. This, this was a man who intentionally and very deliberately decided to to, to, to focus and to put and to direct his mind towards thinking deeply about God's statutes, you know, and, and continuously again to have his mind meditate, think through, think through, think through, think it through again and again and again and again. And in and, 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 and English Standard Version, he, verse 16, he uses this word, delighting in your statutes. Now, this was a man who delighted. Now, there are so many things that we delight in in life. You know, there are simple pleasures of life that just delight us. But this was a man, again, who made it a commitment to delight in the Lord's statutes and not to forget his word. I think he also understood the frailty of himself as a man to forget what God has said many times. And... Uh, and, and so he made it a commitment to meditate, to delight, to delight on the statutes. Now, when I look at these scriptures, I cannot help but ask myself the hard questions of how do I delight on the statutes of the Lord? Do I meditate on them? You know, do I fix my eyes on the Lord's ways day and night? You know, do I delight in, 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 the, in, the, in the Lord's ways? Like I will delight in all riches. You know, and so um, since we know that the word of God brings life, then we we, we have the responsibility of uh, making a commitment like the psalmist did to delight in the ways of the Lord, to delight on His statutes. Now. Um, and that's what we're going to be praying for ourselves this morning, that God is going to help us to love, to delight, actually to, to delight, to make it a commitment, to make it a commitment to delight in the Lord's statutes, you know, and to think about His ways, to think about what He has done, to think about who He is as God, who He is, and we delight in that. We, 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 we gaze, I mean, in other words, I would put it this way, to, 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 to daydream, to daydream about the ways of the Lord and how great and mighty He is, to be, to be, to be awed by His majesty, by His wonder of what He has done, you know, what He has created, and, and, and to continuously focus on the Lord's ways. Now that takes discipline, that takes effort, by the grace of God I do believe He's able to help us. So I'm going to be praying uh, that God is going to help us to do that, to give us the appetite to do that, to give us the will to do that, to, give, to help us to be committed to do that. As the psalmist did, I also believe we can. Our God and our Father, we are glad this morning. We've been reflecting on the, in the Psalm 119 and, and Lord God just marvels us, Lord God, the, the hunger and the thirst that the psalmist had, Lord God, towards your word. And to reflect on, the, uh, on, on what you had done, to reflect on what you are as God, and, and in that because God, you are our creator, that in itself, the deep thought, the deep reflection of who you are, I want to believe that made him to have a, a quest and a thirst, my father, to worship you even deeply. God, when we reflect and when we delight in your word, Lord God, it has a way of implicating in our hearts and my father to bathe 
genuine and, and, and authentic worship, O oh God. Not just worship in songs and all that, but just worship like adoration to, to, to you, Jesus Christ. And Lord God, how I pray this day that God and our Father, that God you help us to delight, Lord, to delight in your statutes, Lord, to delight in your statutes. God, there are so many things in our lives that God we can delight on, but this was the psalmist and, 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 and this was a man who had esteem. I want to believe this was a man who had great career in, in, in music. You know, uh, during the time when this psalm was written, this was not man, a man who was in luck. No, God, this was a man who of, of stature in his community. But this was a man, again, who had a commitment, Lord God, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord, to love you, to, he made a commitment to delight in your word. Lord, we pray this morning, God, help us, God, to delight in in your word and to love my father to do that oh father and god in the name of jesus christ lord we believe god my father since this man was in a position to do this my father you can also help us to do this you can help us to be disciplined you can help us my father to put in the commitment my father to gaze upon you jesus christ and to be Wow, to be, to be, uh, to be moved, to be marveled by who you are, O oh God, my Father and my God. I pray that you may help us, God. I pray that you may help us. I pray that you may help us to make that commitment on a daily basis, O oh God. That God, our love for you may increase, our wonder for you may increase, our worship for you may increase, our faith, my Father God, in you may increase, our confidence, God, in you may increase, O oh God. Our godliness and my Father, our growth to what's Christ likeness, my Father God, may continue to be experienced in and through our lives. Father, we thank you and we honor your holy name. We thank you because of what you've been teaching us through Psalm 119. Indeed, blessed be your holy name. Father, as we go into this business, may you help us and give us the grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for logging in every day, single morning, uh, from Monday till today. We are glad as a, as a, as a church, and thank you very much. Do have yourself a good uh, day and a great weekend ahead. I need you, I need you, and nothing, no place, no one else will do. The longing inside I need you I need you And nothing No place No one else will do I need you I need you For you satisfy The longing inside Da 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 It's fun.